cell. Introduction It is now known that a single cell may constitute a whole organism as in amoeba, paramecium and bacteria. These organisms are called unicellular organisms. Uni meaning single. On the other hand, many cells group together in a single body and assume different functions in it to form various body parts in multicellular organisms. Multi meaning many, such as some fungi, plants and animals. Every multicellular organism has come from a single cell. Some organisms can also have cells of different kinds. Unicellular and multicellular organisms The human body has a heart to pump blood, a stomach to digest food and so on. Similarly, division of labor is also seen within a single cell. In fact, each such cell has got certain specific components within it known as cell organelles. Each kind of cell organelle performs a special function such as making new material in the cell, clearing up the waste material from the cell and so on. A cell is able to live and perform all its functions because of these organelles. These organelles together constitute the basic unit called the cell. Cell wall A cell wall is a tough, flexible and sometimes fairly rigid layer that surrounds some types of cells. It is located outside the cell membrane and provides these cells with structural support and protection and also acts as a filtering mechanism. A major function of the cell wall is to act as a pressure vessel, preventing the overexpansion when water enters the cell. They are found in plants, bacteria, fungi, algae and some archaea. Animals and protozoa do not have cell walls. Nucleus In cell biology, the nucleus is a membrane-enclosed organelle found in all eukaryotic cells. It contains most of the cell's genetic material, organized as multiple long linear DNA molecules in complex with a large variety of proteins such as histones to form chromosomes. The genes within these chromosomes are called the cell's nuclear genome. The function of the nucleus is to maintain the integrity of these genes and to control the activities of the cell by regulating gene expression. The nucleus plays a central role in cellular reproduction, the process by which a single cell divides and forms two new cells. It also plays a crucial part along with the environment in determining the way the cell will develop and what form it will exhibit at maturity by directing the chemical activities of the cell. Cytoplasm The cytoplasm is the parts of a cell that is enclosed within the plasma membrane. The cytoplasm contains organelles such as mitochondria that are filled with liquid kept separate from the rest of the cytoplasm by biological membranes. The cytoplasm is the site where most cellular activities occur, such as many metabolic pathways and processes such as cell division. The part of the cytoplasm that is not held within organelles is called the cytosol. The cytosol is a complex mixture of cytoskeleton filaments, dissolved molecules and water that fills much of the volume of a cell. Cell organelles The figure shows a labelled diagram of a generalised cell. Golgi apparatus, also called Golgi bodies, are made up of tubules, vesicles and vacuoles. They are responsible for the secretion of chemical substances like enzymes, hormones and proteins. Ribosomes are small granules scattered all over the cytoplasm. They act as sites of protein synthesis. Mitochondria are tiny, spherical or rod-like bodies. 
They act as sites of energy production and are therefore called the powerhouses of the cell. Vacuoles are fluid-filled spaces enclosed in a membrane. They store excess water, useful minerals, pigments and many other substances. Endoplasmic reticulum is a network of tubules and channels. It is involved in the synthesis, storage and transport of cell products. Endoplasmic reticulum The endoplasmic reticulum is a large network of membrane-bound tubes as sheets. It looks like long tubules or round or oblong bags, vesicles. The ER membrane is similar in structure to the plasma membrane. There are two types of ER, rough endoplasmic reticulum, RER, and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, SER. RER looks rough under a microscope because it has particles called ribosomes attached to its surface. The ribosomes which are present in all active cells are the sites of protein manufacture. The manufactured proteins are then sent to various places in the cell depending on need using the ER. The SER helps in the manufacture of fat molecules or lipids important for cell function. Some of these proteins and lipids help in building the cell membrane. Golgi apparatus The Golgi apparatus consists of a system of membrane-bound vesicles arranged approximately parallel to each other in stacks called cisterns. These membranes often have connections with the membranes of ER and therefore constitute another portion of a complex cellular membrane system. Its functions include the storage, modification and packaging of products in vesicles. In some cases, complex sugars may be made from simple sugars in the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus is also involved in the formation of lysosomes. Lysosomes Lysosomes are a kind of waste disposal system of the cells. Lysosomes help to keep the cell clean by digesting any foreign material as well as worn out cell organelles. Foreign materials entering the cell, such as bacteria or food, as well as old organelles, end up in the lysosomes, which break them up into small pieces. Lysosomes are able to do this because they contain powerful digestive enzymes capable of breaking down all organic material. Mitochondria Mitochondria are known as the powerhouse of the cell. The energy required for various chemical activities needed for life is released by mitochondria in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate molecules. The body uses energy stored in ATP for making new chemical compounds and for mechanical work. Mitochondria have two membrane coverings instead of just one. The outer membrane is very porous while the inner membrane is deeply folded. These folds create a large surface area for ATP generating chemical reactions. Plastids Plastids are present only in plant cells. There are two types of plastids, chromoplasts, colored plastids, and leucoplasts, white or colorless plastids. Plastids containing the pigments chlorophyll are known as chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are important for photosynthesis in plants. Chloroplasts also contain various yellow or orange pigments in addition to chlorophyll. Leucleoplasts are primarily organelles in which materials such as starch, oils and protein granules are stored. Vacuoles Vacuoles are storage sacs for solid or liquid contents. Vacuoles are small sized in animal cells, while plant cells have very large vacuoles. The central vacuole of some plant cells may occupy 50 to 90 percent of the cell volume. In plant cells, vacuoles are full of cell sap and provide turgidity and rigidity in the cell. Many substances of importance in the system of the plant cell are stored in vacuoles. These include amino acids, sugars, various organic acids and some proteins.